Fist bumps locked in. Here we go. Loser's final set. Mercury and Yoda Cage. The, uh, winner will have their second shot at Joshua at grand final side. Starting off here again. Small battlefield. Both, both going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe here. Another jab gives Yoda Cage the early advancement. That out of shield Nair, so, so good for Bowser Jr. Fastest option. Trying to get anything to feed in, but he was nearly fully uh, charged there, so a little too um, cavalier and not, you know, I don't want to, you know, besmirch Mercury in any way, but you should have realized what his gauge was at already. And now with the, uh, the vulnerability of that up B, he is just free real estate to take out off that ledge. Arsene working to the detriment of a Joker. And now Yoda Cage on top in another hefty jab full combo. It's basically a combo, why not? Uh, just makes him uh, laugh Mercury here in percentages. 46 and an early call out of Arsene too, just Yoda Cage. Applied pressure and just got the the the, um, the Arsen call out to work out in his favor here. So Mercury already has two marks against him. Just looking to pick it up, uh, pick it up here. Great tech, but the tech sent him too far out. Could not recover with the up B. And now a three-one situation. And again, the patience. How many times am I saying it tonight? The patience is working out. For the uh, for the victor, most times around. Hopefully, rules are meant to be broken here. We'll see if uh, Mercury can answer right back, pinning Yoda Cage to that uh, platform. We have the uh, Arsene back bear using the guns. Got to avoid that cannonball. Does so and converts off the uh, ledge get up uh, bear. Yoda Cage, again, just going to expend as much time off that Rebel's Guard as possible. Koopa going to get shielded out. And again, shipped out the Betrayal coming in for Yoda, or against Yoda Cage, rather. Missing off that forward smash is Mercury. Here's an opportunity. Now just getting walled out with those uh, very... Uh, uh, not perfectly placed, but he's um, putting them right underneath where... Uh, the spin out wouldn't hit and just going full throttle off that ledge. Yeah, Yoda Cage had that 3 1 situation and he was just going to run with it until the bitter end, making it a 2 0 situation. Now 1 0 in terms of set count here for Yoda Cage. He seems primed and ready to go for his run back against Joshton. But again, if you sleep on a Joker, they will, um, if they have the Arsene timing down right in their corner. Uh, it can get away from you pretty quick, so we'll see if Mercury has anything to respond with here. Rashid's team. Going with Pyra Mithra, okay. And I guess it is because, yeah, the, uh, the Arsene didn't get called out at the time that he wanted, so he wants to be able to call out when he gets those beefy hits uh, when he wants to, so... That's why we're seeing the Pyra Mithra right now, but... Again, second verse, same as the first. Yoda Cage just on top of Mercury in the first interactions. Great! Oh my god! Calling out the uh, side B attempt and just sending her packing, sending her on her way there. But uh, again, don't count Mercury out there because now that he's in control, he can just take Yoda Cage to task when he wants. And he can pivot right to those uh, hefty hits, maybe even when Yoda Cage isn't expecting them, trip him up more so than uh, have the command of the uh, the BB hits instead. And there we go, great job. Not gonna claim, but 112, a lot, lot better situation for Mercury than it was maybe even like five, 10 seconds ago. Great waiting out there for Yoda Cage to use that fair Mercury. Uh, uh, Yoda Cage baited out a jump, but in the skies above that platform, still going to take out. And 61 damage on. Mithra can make that uh, that gap close ever so fastly. And so far, has already done half the work. 
But now Yoda Cage making uh, about a fourth of the work open back up there. It's about half and half. 40 to about 100 just, you know, rounded out there. Woo! Tech that down air, but Mercury still on top of it. Getting that grab and converting with an up air. Very nice. Not going to fall into that cannonball trap. Just the last hitbox. It had to be the last hitbox of that down air. Sent Yoda Cage into the skies a second time, but stuck to it. And again, that platform conversion of the up smash going to leave Mercury obviously in a lot better situation as he's now one stop away from making it one even and getting a little bit of breathing room. Simple jab, not going to take because of Pyra. Yet again, the uh, very surprisingly heavy character, but going to get shut down with their limited recovery. Again, the emboldened uh, low edge guard that Bowser Jr. can dish out in the hands of Yoda Cage is just something to behold, and it, it, it proved pretty effectively on his um, his first go around actually uh, against uh, against Mercury. So we'll see here. They put on last stocks. He will not escape that up smash again. You know, surprisingly big body that that clown car lends for Pyramithra to hit, and uh, they're all too happy to do it. But again, that disjoint proving all effective and making it effectively a one-all match. Another update on music. Jensei Radio. Any song's a good song, and you know, one of the two more often played songs from the series. Absolutely. Rightly so, uh, uh, played all too often. These are the two best songs of the track, so never get tired of them. Cage sticking to the skies a little bit. Uh, don't agree with it because, again, with that disjoint, Pyramether can just call out a lot of landing options that Bowser Jr. can uh, potentially throw at you. And already, Mercury swapping to the Pyra uh, before hit was 50% uh, when he called out the Pyra. So, challenging, but still, uh, the way it just catapulted Bowser Jr. into the stage, looking for a second dare of all things. But uh, still, all told, 127 very, very quickly chalked off on the Bowser Jr. Almost sent back and for his efforts as well. Yoda Cage really has to, um, much like I have to do, I have to find some semblance of uh, mental <laughs> capacity here because that first stock very quickly got away from Yoda Cage. Now, um, playing a lot more defensive, a lot more apprehensive on moving in. And that's, you know, very, very iffy on the Pyramithra. Obviously, you have more assuredness on when you want to move in, but just how fast, how blindly fast that Pyramithra, or the Mithra is, rather, uh, it's still not a uh, an assured thing that you have control. You may have control, but it could it could uh, change at the, the, uh, the flip of a hat, essentially. Drop of a hat. That's the term I'm looking for. There we go. Just challenging in the skies, already a 3-1 situation. And Mercury only now 95%, just... He is not sweating one bit right now. Again, another best of five situation, but uh, it is uh, very close to potentially being the last round in that situation here. As Yoda Cage needs to find something that works quick. Again, that safetyness of that side B. And just, why not? Oh my goodness. And just a two minute round sends uh, Mercury one step away from getting uh, his loser side attempt on Joshiton. Yoda Cage really hunkering down there. Closing his eyes, entering his own uh, mental fortress as it were. And he has to really change things up here. What does the start of the song sound like uh, Deja Vu? It's, it's like so, so close. Oh well. We'll see if it's uh, Deja Vu for Mercury, if he gets another win here. 
Otherwise, Yoda Cage will answer back, and we will have our first Game 5 of the night, but uh, it'll be in Yoda Cage's hands. And right now, those hands are going to work! <laughs> I don't know, 35 damage, though. Much like Josh and him before, we were wondering what was happening there, but uh, Yoda Cage is all too happy to uh, look that gift horse in the mouth. And that might have actually saved Mercury, that uh, sour spot hit of that Nair. Not sure if uh, Pyra had the uh, the magnet hands to snap back the ledge there. But it's already in the past, can't focus on it now. As again, if you focus on the past and you leave your, uh, your mind to drift, the uh, Mithra will take all too much advantage of the, uh, the drifting mind and just tack on 30, 40 damage and put uh, Pyra assuredly in the driver's seat after the fact. Challenging Mecha Koopa, but it works against himself. Yoda Cage to his, uh, uh, to his chagrin, could not connect with the, uh, the up air, but I like the attempt from him, though. Gets the back throw. Challenging on a sleeping Mercury that time, and now Yoda Cage has the, uh, the leg up here on this, uh, Fourth round, right? Yep. And now Yoda King losing his stock. Now just letting Mithra expend options here. They're having a character crisis right now as Mithra would be the one to chalk up this damage, but now it's 99 tacked on by Bowser Jr. We see an effective what? <laughs> goofy conversion was that? Oh my word! Nair bounce off stage, miss tech into cannonball hit. I think that was. We are in the uh, late night zany hours of <laughs> regular bears, I guess. As now Yoda Cage's uh, efforts has just gotten a uh, a philanthropic boost. Very, uh, very gracious grant from whoever is watching over his shoulder right now because he is making this uh, Game 5 situation just seem all the more realized here. Mecha Koopa on the back pedal, not going to phase out Mercury's shielding. The great uh, triple fare there from Yoda Cage. Mecha Koopa, though, working against him that time around and Mercury having the uh, reaction time to capitalize it on it too sweet and very effectively made it one stock apiece, but uh, I think a little too much extra credit near uh, that's a passing grade there now. And he's going a little too committal. Yoda Cage, you don't have to do this all too much. He is still on Pyra because he has, uh, you know, he needs the heavy nature of Pyra to survive a lot of stuff. Oh no. 78 nearly sent out from that altercation alone. Does get back to platform, but he's jumping a lot. Nair saving his skin. Gets called out. Dash attack. Great job from Mercury using the uh, dash attack's full coverage in order to challenge the far away Yoda Cage. And that situation tilt. Not going to send out, but again, Mercury in prime position on stage. Nair leaving him vulnerable. Great. Out of shield Nair. Yes. Close up. You're fine to use Nair. DI throws Mecha Koopa from off stage. Mercury again not falling for it. Look out for the tilts. He's fighting back. Yeah, fair. So vulnerable. So often led. So uh, so often leaves that Bells Jr. vulnerable.